Charles Dickens referred to Ebenezer Scrooge as a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scarping, clutching, covetous old sinner. What we know for sure is Scrooge had a lack of charity and kindness etched in his soul. <laughs> Two generous actors in our town who are far from Bah Humbug will be in a benefit called Bah Humbug to benefit the people and the arts on the downtown east side. And it is my pleasure to welcome Jay Brazo and Margot Kane to Studio 4 to tell us more. <laughs> nice to see you. Good morning. Oh, good, good morning. morning to you. I like the description of Charles Dickens. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah. That, that, that maybe it's talking I about Gordon Campbell or something. I'm not, that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Don't go He's there. He's gone. Don't go <laughs> there. Uh, but do go to Bah Humbug, yes. apparently. How did this come about? Well, I'm not really sure how it came about, but there's quite a few partners. The Vancouver Moving Theatre that resides in the downtown east side mm -hmm. uh, has um, a partnership with Simon Fraser, with the Vancouver Playhouse, mm -hmm. with the Community Arts Council, and they've, they've come together to create this wonderful musical rendition of the Christmas Carol um, that's set in, in, in the downtown east side. Okay, when you yeah. say set, on the street, in a theatre... Oh, definitely. I think, you know, I know uh, last year, I, Michael Boucher was in charge of the SFU program there, I think the arts program, and uh, I know he gave me a call on the balloon and said, uh, are you interested in doing Christmas Carol? And I said, oh, sure, but I'm not that kind of, hello, hello, what's all this, and kind of English guy. I can't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> there are great people who do that. I can't do that. And they, he said, well, it's going to be in downtown east side. And I said, oh, that's a great idea. If it could, you know, be about the downtown east side, and right. if maybe Scrooge could be like this pawnbroker kind of guy, or Something we can, you know, because mm -hmm. what is happening back then, 150 years ago, is, is not is pretty close to what's happening now. You know, the same sort of themes and everything. You noticed. Yeah. So it's a little mm -hmm. Victorian on the downtown yeah, east side. Exactly, yeah. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But what's really important about it is the money will go to embrace the arts and obviously help some of the people. Mm -hmm. Bring All the arts, that. bring That's the right, arts yes. to the community. I think the Vancouver community, uh, the Vancouver Moving Theater, has been doing that for quite some time with their right. Heart yeah. of the City Festival in the fall, and so they've uh, really animated the the uh, the community mm -hmm. and all the artists that reside there and the community artists that reside there. Um, a number of people uh, have been supporting that festival yeah. for a while, so it just makes sense that sure. at Christmas there's also something more that the community can. So the ghost in. of the future has determined. <laughs> Exactly. It shall be so. <laughs> yeah. uh, the ghost of Christmas past mm -hmm. uh, uh, gave Scrooge the message, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Isn't that how it works? It's not, yeah, it's, it, <laughs> this is the second year we've done it, so I think their plan is to do it every year, and, to, and mm. it's a really great idea, you know? And are you Scrooge? I'm Scrooge, yes. <laughs> Typecast again, I know. Gee, <laughs> gee, gee, gee. Maybe you could do White Christmas next year oh, or something. Why not? <laughs> why not? Why not? So you're Scrooge, and you're the narrator, so how does that work? Well, I have the fortune of actually uh, um, being um, being someone who actually watches the action and comments on the action. And um, there's a, a number of other c small characters that I play. They play Mrs. Cratchit and uh, another small role. But it means also that uh, I get to tie all the pieces together, mm -hmm. all the... Uh, Gee, how many performers do we have now on, on oh, stage? It must be about eight or nine or something. Yeah. Like. Okay, yeah. so you have the characters. You have uh, 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 Jacob Marley. That's Burns, isn't it? Jim, yeah, Jim Burns, Burns, great blues man. The series great. It's fabulous, you know. How wonderful. The Sojourners anywhere uh, around or just uh, well, Burns? We got, well, we got Tom Pickett. He's, play, he's playing Bob mm -hmm. Cratchit. Mm -hmm. We've got some wonderful people. Donna Sorensen, I believe, mm -hmm. who's playing... Um, Tiny Tim. There's all sorts of Ooh. different ways of re-looking at how, how we were able to fit the Christmas Carol into the downtown east side, and it's a, it's really interesting, you know, because people can identify with it. So it's contemporary in a sense. There yes. is there is a Bob Cratchit and a Jacob Marley and a Scrooge, <laughs> but it's set in modern time. Is it's that what I'm to know? It's set in modern time, but it's it's quite a uh, interesting way they've been able to sort of just piece everything together so you still have that feeling of Charles Dickens, mm. you know. You still have Marley was dead, Marley was dead, the beginning mm. with Mar dead as a doornail. So we still have that kind of voice of Charles Dickens, but we have the, the voice of what's happening now right. in Vancouver. Because it was Jacob Marley that came back as the ghost, That's right? Because right. he yeah, was yeah. just as evil yeah. as Ebenezer, mm -hmm. as I yeah. recall. Mm -hmm. So we have right? a few jokes about yeah. Occupy Vancouver and maybe the Vancouver Canucks in there. So oh, they, great. They, they, people can relate to. Mm -hmm. Because as old uh, Scrooge said, like, die now. Uh, decrease the surplus population. Mm -hmm. something. You, sh you should be playing that? a screw. You know all those little lines. She's great. <laughs> I, know. I don't when know. Whenever I get all sick, you got to get home. Bring her down. I can bring her down. <laughs> I can say, die now, decrease the surplus population. Exactly. But, uh, but there's a happy ending. Oh, yes. As you know, is, yeah, in yes. the Christmas Carol, mm -hmm. is there oh, yeah. in this one? 
Oh, definitely. And I think also that the thing that we are trying to go for also is to integrate some First Nations uh, presence uh, mm -hmm. beginning the show. Um, Stephen has a beautiful poem that he begins. We have a First Nations carver in Sam Bob who mm -hmm. also takes on some of the roles, the, the uh, ghost of Christmas present. And um, so we've tried to integrate the sense that the raven is always watching. So, yeah. so like the raven, the, the trickster, the um, um, a sense of First Nations um, uh, commitment to mm -hmm. this area as well and to bringing about a change yeah. in... Uh, How wonderful. So Aboriginal mm -hmm. and uh, or Indigenous, all of that, mm -hmm. Chinese. Yep. Yep. Plus this year we multi, have a full multi. choir. Mm -hmm. Right, that we've yeah. never had last year. Doing helping you know us perform some of the songs. We have well, they've incorporated new songs, songs by uh, Johnny Cash, songs by Nine Inch Nails, really? mm -hmm. songs by Randy How Newman, great. and by Tom you know, Waits mm -hmm. and uh, Elton John it, it, within to the script. So it's really interesting. Yeah. I wonder what um, Marley would think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Elton John in the Christmas <laughs> Carol. I don't Take know. Take these chains from my heart. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> immediately, <laughs> immediately. Mm -hmm. Max Reimer directing from the Vancouver Playhouse. Yes, it's great to have him around working with the downtown East Side. And how does he direct you in something like this? Is it? Has he started? <laughs> well, this is <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fast sort of ride. We, we, <laughs> yeah. we have about a week to put it together because yeah. it is. Um, still done with books and everything, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just knows what he wants. He's out there and we're just busy. All Everybody's all working together. Mm -hmm. It's like the Santa workshop. Mm -hmm. There's people over yeah. here doing <laughs> stuff and we're just trying to uh, get that thing done on time and get out there and do it. You sure. Know? Last time I saw you, I think you were in Drowsy Chaperone. I think yeah. I saw you in Drowsy. Yes. I think that's the last that's time last I saw time you I on stage. That's the last time I worked with Max. Yeah, yeah, Is it? Okay, on that stage. There. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. How did you get into acting? Why? Well, since I since a child, I've been just like a, a storyteller and a you know a bossy older sister. So I always had a you know captive audience with my brothers and sisters. It's just kind of natural. And I also think that um, along the way, um, I had a real uh, talent, and all my teachers uh, encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And uh, at a certain point in my life, I realized that being in the arts, dancing, singing, acting, that was really made made me feel like I was playing a role in the world and mm -hmm. uh, and I worked a lot with Aboriginal youth to use the creative arts and the performing arts as a way mm -hmm. for their uh, building their self-esteem and telling their own stories and so I've developed a company to do that. Uh, yes, how yeah. wonderful great. the uh, yeah. Full Circle First Nations performing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. theater company? Performance. Just performance, just mm -hmm. period, performance. I guess the company doesn't performing. <laughs> the, the performance theater company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, Wikipedia tells lies about you. Well, we you were know, laughing about it a bit. Yeah. Well, we yeah. shouldn't yeah. laugh about your past, yeah. but you are Cree, mm -hmm. and Wikipedia says you had a hard Scrabble life, really hard Scrabble life. No, I had a hard life in a number of ways, but uh, I think what they were. Uh, 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 talking about was when I started to do my research for the ecstasy of Rita Joe in the 70s and all mm -hmm. the work that I was doing I, I actually uh, went looking for all our people in the in the in, in the inner city and so of course I explored all the um, Aboriginal service organizations skid row populations I did a lot of research and sure. so I met a lot of people that uh, uh, that eventually were part of some of the inspiration for some of the work mm -hmm. that I did. Okay, mm -hmm. but you didn't live on Skid Row. I didn't. Okay, I well, didn't. scratch that from Wikipedia. Right. <laughs> they need to get their facts right. And I doubt you lived on Skid Row. No. <laughs> or did you? Not that I remember. <laughs> uh, how did you get into acting? I probably yeah. asked you this before, but I forget things. Well, I you know, was never good at anything else. I was grew, grew up on the, on the poor side of town in Winnipeg and just started doing it. My father would take me to movies all the time, and... I quit school at grade 11. I sort of just ventured in one day to this uh, place called the Manitoba Theta Workshop. And they, mm. I said, I'm sort of interested in acting. So they said, great. They gave me a hammer and some nails. And they said, go work on that set over there. <laughs> and at night, I would take workshops. And because I was bigger and slightly balding and everything, all the other young guys wouldn't have to put the shoe polish in their hair and all that stuff. Right. So I could sort of easily fit in. So I really learned by, by doing. Mm. And I was lucky that um, a fellow named Len Cario, a great actor, gave me my big oh, break right. and yeah, mm -hmm. helped me guide my career for a year. And yes, he's know. marvelous. Oh, he's wonderful. I wouldn't mm -hmm. be anywhere without him. Uh, well, it's it's great to have somebody in your acting career mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who uh, mentors you or oh, inspires yeah. you. Mm -hmm. or if, if it's Laurence Olivier, fine. Richard Burton, mm -hmm. the yeah, late, fine. Mm -hmm. And if it's Cario, fine. Who mm -hmm. inspired you? 
Well, I just met with her this, just this past week, uh, Maria Campbell, very mm. famous Métis uh, writer, playwright uh, mm. uh, out of Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's one of my Métis elders. And she wrote a book called Half Breed yes. about her life and her tough life and her life in Vancouver um, in the early days in the 70s. Um, I met her and uh, I just was very inspired that she could, um, she could you know, aspire mm -hmm. to write and do things, uh, write yes. her own book. And uh, so we just met recently, we we're talking about getting, uh, getting a group of us older artists back together again to inspire the younger artists mm -hmm. coming up again. Oh, because, you know, you know, as you get older, sometimes you get kind of fade into the background a bit. That's right. And all the stories and all the history that we've had, you know, the younger artists mm -hmm. don't know that history that oh, we, yeah. all True. the battles and, it, and the roads we, you and know. And the oral yeah. culture and yeah. all of that, but yeah. to have a role model as yeah. an yeah. Aboriginal child yeah or as any child yeah. really but yeah. especially when we're uh, seeing what's going on in some of the reserves yes. in this country and uh, mm -hmm. the poverty and the yeah. uh, oh, terrible so, situations yes, you happens. say mm -hmm. okay yeah. mm -hmm. how could the where do the arts fit in that yes yes I think that the, the, the great thing the arts can do is they can hold up a mirror to society, right? Mm -hmm. We can go out there. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I wonder if they, instead of sending soldiers to fight these wars, they should send artists and actors and jugglers and let them, you know, do something, show them what is actually happening with the world, you know? The other thing uh, that seems to be running through this season is to uh, do what you love. Find mm -hmm. out something that you are passionate about and do it. Mm -hmm. And if it's selling broccoli, great. Yeah. And if it's acting on stage, even better. Yeah. All, I, I went to White uh, Christmas on uh, mm -hmm. Wednesday. Fabulous. I mean, oh, yeah. it's like, it's as good as Broadway, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's incredible. People every day, you know, I mean, the governments are always saying, we don't need this, we have to do cutbacks, they don't need the arts anymore, social yeah. housing. The mm -hmm. arts are so important, you know. I remember mm -hmm. my kids telling them, I said, the only thing I'm going to make you do is stick with, it is, I'm paying for these piano lessons, I want you to get your grade 10 mm -hmm. because I want you out there later when you're mad at me, instead of right. going hanging around the 7-Eleven store, you can go in your room and bang it on the guitar or sure. your piano or something, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. arts can... let I mean, it out, you bet. Yeah. And it, be, to be a stage actor in this country, as you know, you don't make all that much money. Oh, yeah. Depends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> so what I knew about many of the people on the stage that night who can tap and sing yeah, and yeah. do all of that immense talent, uh, that they weren't making like mm -hmm. a million dollars a year. They weren't being paid as much as the hockey yeah. boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can know when you're out there too, you feel you're doing something to, to people. For that brief two, three hours that they're there watching the play, they're yeah. the Christmas Carol, mm -hmm. that they're together, the families are together yeah. sharing an experience, and that they're, you're feeling yeah. that they're doing something, they're happy. You can forget about the daily problems mm -hmm. and stuff like that. For sure, yeah. and and you're not, and you can't text, and you can't, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't yeah. go on Facebook in the yeah, theater yeah, exactly. because they make you turn your phone off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's great to have that live and energy and mm -hmm. the interaction yeah. and mm -hmm. all of the above. Mm. I think it's important that the the contact that the that the actors have with and in the storytelling with the audience, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it, I prefer it. To, I prefer live work to film and TV, though that can sometimes be really fun. It's the actual contact where, where people are actually moved in the, mo in the moment, and they come out of a theater experience, mm -hmm. and they're inspired mm -hmm. to carry on. You know? Yes, many mm -hmm. actors have told me over the years that they know when the audience is with them. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's a feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they know when the audience is uh, mm -hmm. not so much there. <laughs> <I know. laughs> they're there. Yeah. But uh, it's and like a every sporting event. Different. You know when they're with you. You know. Yeah. I mean, you, exactly. You know. But every night is different. Uh, even oh, though it it's is. a great play, an mm -hmm. ecstasy of Rita Joe or a drowsy chaperone mm -hmm. or a white Christmas. Yeah, you can come every night and yeah. watch all the shows and mm -hmm. you follow somebody's life in there. It's a totally different show. It's a different experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we love live theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they've got to start funding it a little more too. Yes, yes. A little more money into mm -hmm. the arts. Mm -hmm. I say. Mm -hmm. How Me about too. for Christmas? No more Indeed. humbugs there, we want. No more humbugs, no. <laughs> so Bah Humbug, uh, December 14th to the 17th, 7.30 at the Fay and Milton Wong Theater. So yeah. that, that's SFU Woodward's, right? Yes, yes. How long theater. is it? I always ask that because oh, it's people about, say, uh, well, can minutes. we go for dinner first? Yeah. Or, oh, <laughs> what great. should we do? Well, there's no intermission, so we go straight through. It's about straight 80, through. 80 minutes. And, and it's can a, you participate as the audience? Do you encourage audience participation, or it's not uh, that there's deal? There's some singing and stuff going on. There's stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know. Um, uh, but it, it's... I think it's very funny and it's very moving. It's the perfect kind of family experience at Christmas. Right, and it's very current. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it wakes us up. 
Yes. yes. Just like we woke you up. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you had a fast cab ride here. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> nice to see hey, you. Hey, nice again. to see you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Jay Brazo and Margot Kane and uh, Bahambug December 14th at the uh, theater at SFU Woodward.